This is Benjamin from Telheim.de and today I want to show you how to transfer face capture data from Maxon Moves to any character you want. If you already own your uh, Maxon Moves on your iPad or on your iPhone, you have installed it and you followed some tutorials that um, are to find by at YouTube, um, you certainly end in Cinema 4D with um, something uh, you imported and it looks like this. An ugly face, an ugly mask and you can change some things here but um, this ugly mask contains all the capture you did and we're gonna test it. Just hit play. Yes, it seems he speaks. Aha. If you want to have sound, check sound. Hello, my friends. Do you still hear the lambs cry? <laughs> okay. It's in fact me. Um, don't be scared. Trying to do Hannibal Lecter. I think Anthony Hopkins is doing better. But we don't want this mask to talk. We want this little alien to talk. The alien has no morphing data until now. He is not able to speak. He is animated, as you can see. But Hello, he cannot speak. Okay, we're jumping back. I um, go back to the reference pose. And we are going to start with our transfer of the face capture data. It is not really complicated, but uh, you have to be a little bit precise, otherwise it will not work. The first method I'm going to show you is quick and dirty. And the second one is a little bit more precise uh, and you can tweak a little bit more the morphs um, but uh, quick and dirty is uh, nice also okay let's begin look at the green face at the uh, objects manager click on it and go down where you see the button um, creating post morph just click it and you will end up with something like that a second mask that has on it a green face, a post morph helper tag, an expresso tag and a post morph. The post morph itself is empty. So we have to fill it with data. So we're jumping back to the green face and we say create all post morphs. And at the moment when we jump to back all to the post morph tag all blend shapes are created and when we play when we hit animate and uh, hit play you can see that in this both morph tag every blend shape is reacting shut up <laughs> okay but for later on what we need to do is we have to bake all those uh, values that are stored in those plant shapes. So we're jumping back to the green uh, post morph helper uh, face and we say bake the plant shapes. Boom, done. Now, if we jump back to the post morph, you can see down here in the timeline it has created tons of keyframes. Also, when you're here, in, uh, in the animate section of the post morph itself, you can see these are all keyframes. Nice. So, next step. Those keyframes that we have now are later on something like a driver for the keyframes in the post morph uh, on our character. So, we're going to open that character. And what the character needs now is something like a clean pose morph that contains all um, stored data, 
how he is at the beginning. How are we going to achieve this? It's rather easy. We tell the alien body who contains face. Uh, we give him attack, um, other attacks, moves, pose morph, helper, put it on. We put also on a rigging tag, a clean pose morph. And we put also on a programming tag, an espresso. Just close the espresso uh, window, we don't need it at the moment. We jump to the green face and we put in the espresso tag, the pose morph tag and the original capture. So now it's all in here. And we're gonna say to the espresso tag which um, which thing we have to be uh, want to have uh, translated. So it's just points. You can see no bland shapes in here. We're just uh, gonna delete pose is zero. <coughs> Going back to the green face and say bake the bland shapes. Done. So if we're now looking at alien body and the pose morph, all bland shapes are in here. And if we jump to animate and if we play, we see all blend shapes react. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <coughs> <coughs> but <coughs> we do not want this pose morph to contain all those blend shapes uh, or, or those values. We just want them to be something like a container for uh, this pose morph that contains the values of the uh, blend shapes because maybe maybe um, we have a character that's in multiple scenes and every scene is a new uh, capture we don't want to make this process over and over and over again with um, uh, morphing goals and everything like that we just want to do it once and then just changing um, the driver. That's uh, the reason why. Okay, let's hide uh, the ugly faces. We don't need them anymore at the moment. And uh, we're opening the dope sheet. And in the dope sheet, we um, put in the pose morph we created on our alien. We open it <coughs> and as you can see tons of uh, values, tons of uh, key data. We're just gonna delete them. Shift, delete, boom. When we now have a look at a pose morph tag on our alien, it still contains all blend shapes. We put the sliders back, but it's not reacting anymore. To anything and now we have an absolutely clean pose morph containing everything in a real name order that's important and now we can start creating the blend shapes itself the morphs so that's um uh, annoying process that has to be done but it has only to be done once the the post morph tag only contains data between 0 and 100 no morph goals and so we have to activate the post morph on alien body um, we uh, change from animate to work and now we're defining all the blend shapes. Uh, I take char open just um, for uh, to show you how I would do it. These are 67 um, blend shapes I think. You don't have to do ev uh, every blend shape but um, those you need and that's the way we're gonna do it. Just Da, da. Ah, what's happening? You can see um, here 
in the um, pose morph tag the strength of jaw open key for often is zero we're gonna put it to 100 and now we can open the jaw Doo -doo -doo. this is really really not so enjoyable I think but that's the thing uh, how, how we would do it so opening the jaw opening the jaw a little bit more 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 doing something with the tongue maybe okay well, um, while I'm doing this I'm telling you where those bland shapes come from because that's important this here is an alien uh, it doesn't matter um, how exactly the bland shapes are because um, um, he's uh, uh, an inv invention of mine but the or original bland shapes come from the Apple um, true uh, death camera and um, if you're looking at all those shapes you might think hey what's that I don't know um, how this has to um, um, uh, how does ha this has to be mouth sadly right uh, mouth uh, sadly left or mouth broad left um, but um, there is help <laughs> um, Apple um, has a website uh, where you can see all the blend shapes how they should be and you can uh, if you have really human uh, characters um, you can just model uh, your bland shapes like um, uh, Apple um, proposed it. I will leave a link in the description for the original bland shapes. Um, those of my alien here I'm going to make freely like I think um, my alien would speak. And because this is an annoying process uh, and you don't have to be part of it. I'll make here a little break and when I've done some of the bland shapes or morphs then I'll be back so we'll see us in some hours <laughs> no <laughs> in a few seconds bye bye hello here we're back again and in the meantime I made some pose morphs for our alien I made several I don't really remember which ones I made um, but um, you can see there are some uh, that I thought they could be they could be useful okay now we're gonna transfer our user data from uh, the, uh, we have baked to the pose morph tag that uh, contains all the morphs. It's really easy. We go to the dope sheet. If I find it. <laughs> okay, here it is. We put in the pose morph tag with the baked information. We know that already. And then we put in our postmorph tag of the alien. And as you can see, it's empty and we cannot open anything. And that's because um, it has no keyframes yet. So we go to animate, we say um, um, all sliders back, and we uh, just uh, make one keyframe for every. Um, uh, blend shape that's, uh, that's in it boom and now um, there's a plus sign we can open it and that's it I told you this is a quick and dirty method to do this because we have lots of keyframes we don't need but um, for a quick work um, it's okay um, I take all those of the it's from from the baked capture uh, from here 
to down here. I select all. I say copy and I go to the pose morphs that are lined up exactly like they are above. And that's important. Otherwise, uh, you will have uh, results that you want, don't want to see. I um, mark those all and I say paste and boom, they are all our um, datas from the original pose morph. They are now in our alien body pose morph in. And when we now hit play. Hello, my friends. You see? You still hear the lambs cry. <laughs> you see, he is talking. As I told you, this is quick and dirty. Cause um, I'll make uh, my computer a little bit um, um, more silent. Mm. Okay, uh, cause it takes every move, as you can see. It's a little bit um, shivering, um, cause um, every value is uh, transferred to the new morphs. And this is really quick and dirty uh, what we did, cause there is no limiter in it, or kind of a limiter. <laughs> Um, we'll give it the animation back. Maybe um, we can um, just uh, play around a little bit and it's not so harsh to see um, that he's a little bit shivering. Yes, it is not. Okay. Works better, but there is another method um by transferring the data and uh, making a kind of a limiter but um the other method is not that um quick and not that dirty and i'll show you this method in another video or in the next one um the cleaner way to transfer the data from the baked version here to um, our pose morph on the alien itself. Okay, by the way, we can get rid of that face. We don't need it anymore. And I have the um, original capture still here because the sound is in it. Um, if you have a clap or something, you can um, delete this also and uh, composite the sound and the face morphs in the post production. I didn't have a sound uh, clap here, so I just left it and I will um, do it in a cut. So, okay, I hope you um, enjoyed um, this video. Um, I thought it was important to do it because uh, I didn't find any good explanation on transferring face cap. Um, motion data from Maxon moves uh, to an individual character and maybe um, it helps you. Please um, let a comment or um, subscribe uh, to my channel. It helps me and uh, um, we'll see you in the next video with um, cleaner uh, data, I hope. Or Maybe I'll do something uh, completely different. Okay, have a nice day and uh, enjoy any.